Welcome to Electron Online and now we're going to learn how to eliminate the parameter. So in this case, t is the parameter, so we have y in terms of t, x in terms of t. Of course, t can represent the time, x and y can represent the x and y coordinates of a particle as a function of time. But if we want to just simply find the path of the particle and not know any, anything about where the particle is at any point in time, we can eliminate the parameter and just find the equation for the path. And that's what we're going to do. So what we're going to do here is we're going to eliminate t by solving this equation for t and plug it into that equation. So here we can say that t is equal to x minus 4 and now replace that in for that equation. So now we get y is equal to 2 plus the quantity x minus 4 squared. So this becomes y equals 2 plus x squared minus 8x plus 16. And combining like terms, we have y equals x squared minus 8x plus 18. So what does that look like then? So we want to be able to graph that. So we put down the x, y axis. So there's my y axis. Here's my x axis. When x is equal to 0, y is equal to 18. So that would be right about here somewhere. So this is the point 0, 18. And if, uh, let's say, we want to know where the axis of symmetry is, so we'll want to find the x-coordinate of the vertex. So x of the vertex is equal to minus b over 2a. So that would be minus and minus 8 over 2 times 1, which is equal to 8 divided by 2, which is 4. So x is uh, 4, x equals 4 at the vertex, if we plug that back into the equation, so y when x equals 4, that is equal to 4 squared minus 8 times 4 plus 18, that would be 16 plus 18 is 34 minus 32, that's equal to 2. So x equals 4, y equals 2 is the vertex, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, so the vertex is over here, so it looks like, when we think about it, it looks like our equation has a curve that looks like this. There's the path that the particle will take. By eliminating the parameter, we have been able to come up with an equation that describes the position of the particle, but not as a function of time. So if we want to have it as a function of time, we keep the two parametric equations, we plug in values for t to get x's and y's, and then we know where the particle will be as a function of time. That's why we have parametric equations. If we then eliminate the parameter, we no longer know where the particle is a function of time, but we will know the equation of the path of the particle, which we can then draw in terms of x and y. And that's how we eliminate the parameter and why we eliminate the parameter. And that's how it's done.